Have you had an Indian head before? No. I know. I am privileged. <laughs> but my shoulder's been playing up again. And I could feel your stress. Massaging simply with the heel of the hand. And lower still. Anchoring at the top, hooking over the shoulders, and then securing the elbows. And let go. This is greatly stress relieving. This is where we hold a lot of our tension and congestion. We have coldness or damp in our bodies. It's really nice to introduce sesame for that warming effect. Yeah. Okay, so. Hi, Eloise. Hello. Hi. You're looking very smiley. Ah, that's good. <laughs> yeah, just got back from holiday. So. Oh, yes. Yeah. So where did you go? We flew to Rome and then hired a car and went down the Amalfi Coast. Oh. So it was really nice. Oh. Apart from the thunderstorms on the last two days, it really? was lovely. Were they mega? Mega, yeah. yeah. Around an open top bus in Rome. Thunder and lightning. It's quite the experience. Oh, <laughs> yeah. wow. You'll never forget that. No, no. An archer will never forget it. No, that's true. Yeah, yeah. he loved it. So I love good. Rome. Yeah, <clears throat> it's my 10th time. Yeah, so I'm a big Rome fan. Awesome. Yeah, I loved it. It was really good. Really, oh, really good. Oh. Yeah, it's nice. Now, my favourite place in Rome is the Pantheon. Beautiful, isn't it? The atmosphere when you go in and the, the way it's been constructed. Yeah, it's amazing. Those, Absolutely amazing. To be able to say something and it just goes around the whole room. It's wonderful. I love the Vatican, yeah. but underneath in the Scarvi, oh. um, it's incredible. And oh. Not many people get to go in there, but I have an email address for the Vatican if you want it, if you ever go. Um, you get like a private tour in the underground, in the crypts, and it's incredible. Ooh. Absolutely incredible. So yeah, my favourite place. Wow. Yeah, and I'm not even religious. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to be. Just you, to you can still appreciate, appreciate it, yeah. the artwork and the history. Oh, it's incredible. It is amazing. So yeah, and Arch loved it, so that was good. Oh, really good. Lovely. Yeah. Oh. So you're feeling chilled after your holiday? Yeah. You've been back to work since? No, okay. I'm off till next Tuesday, which is okay. nice and yeah. needed. I've been really, really busy with work. The past two months have been manic, so I've been a bit stressed. So it's quite nice to be off, to be honest. Yeah, because yeah. you said this last time, and I could feel your stress. And didn't yeah. I make you a little cream to take you did, away? And it's been you made me an oil. An oil. It was fantastic because um, it's really bit I've been putting it in the bath and it just calms me down so much mm. and it had um, something in it with ibuprofen I can't remember what it was but it, it was like very you put something in you're like it'll help with pain and things oh and yeah so it's an anti-inflammatory yes. it's not ibuprofen <laughs> that's all right yeah but uh, probably Roman chamomile yeah I highly, so. because I think during the Swiss reflexology you said that you loved that scent. I do, yeah. Um, yeah. But so that's it came been up in fantastic, the reflex. Fantastic, because I've had my. I haven't seen you in ages because I've been so busy. But my shoulder's been playing up again. So when I have a bath with that in it, it sorts me straight out. It's been really good. Lovely. Yeah, really good. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I'm really pleased you've had that to go to. So you've yeah, got something to help yeah, during that time. Yeah. Okay. So you are having today. A double bubble, a Indian head massage, mm -hmm. and a core therapy. So we're sitting down now for the Indian head. We've decided to do that first. Have you had an Indian head before? No, I know. I am privileged. <laughs> you know, I love treating someone for the first time to their first therapy. I think it's just such a privilege. I'm very excited. It's my dad's favourite, and he goes on about it all the time. So, oh, expecting big things. Yeah, you did. I, I mean, treated you did him to that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I remember that. So, I'm just going to get a hair clip and clip your hair up yeah. for the first part of okay, it. Okay, cool. I'm going to give you a little step. Okay. Thank you. And I'm going to put a towel on there. Put your feet on because mm -hmm. it's heated. Oh, so, yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. Um, so 
hopefully you're feeling grounded now because just by putting your foot on the on the step there that yeah. wasn't enough so yeah and with Indian head massage just let me take your arm let me do move you around I mean obviously you're seated so keep holding yourself upright although it has been known for me to be doing an Indian head with someone's head like this but just you know hold yourself up but loosen as much as possible go soft um, so Indian head isn't just on the head it's actually halfway down the back it's all the way down the arms it's across the shoulders the neck the scalp and the face um, I have an option as to whether to use oil on the face or not would you it, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay and that's okay in the hair as well yeah, yeah. lovely we'll anywhere after this. oh <laughs> nice okay that's great so I'll use some nice warmed oil and it's really nice with Indian head massage. You may well see some colours behind your closed eyelids or not. It doesn't matter if you don't, but you will definitely feel a deep sense of coming home, that lovely feeling of just feeling at one with yourself. The colours will tune into your different chakras, so they mean something different for each uh, colour. And if you want to share afterwards, I'll talk to you about them. Um, at the end of the treatment, I'll bring you around really slowly. You'll probably be in a, a lovely deep space. Don't think, oh, she's finished. I need to open my eyes now. Just let me talk you back around nice and slow. Um, I think that's it. Okay, I'll just get the oil. Okay, Eloise, close your eyes and take three nice long breaths. Softly warming into the muscles, relaxing the upper back around the trapezius, the lat dorsi, up the erector spinae, and to the deltoid. Increasing the pressure. Massaging simply with the heel of the hand.
and then switching to finger pads tracing that inverse C shape up the spine round to the deltoid feeling into the muscle groups checking and treating Lovely, really creating some warmth, cooling the blood flow. worries and concerns, getting rid, allowing for space, for freedom, clearing, eliminating, and then a smoothing action. some nice percussion moves. from hacking onto cupping just with softly cupped hands around the whole shoulder the scapula This feels especially nice in the fleshy area in between the scapular bone and the spine. Just this little gap here really benefits from percussion moves each side of the spine up and down and out to create that space and relieve the scapula from fixating 
twisting onto the spine. And then a smoothing action to calm that stimulating effect. Feeling that left shoulder click. Definitely needs some support. And then massaging strongly up in the top middle of the trapezius. That should help with the shoulders as well. And then a V starting small, top middle, coming out three times. And slightly lower. And lower still. Anchoring at the top, hooking over the shoulders. Oh yes, that could feel that shoulder clunking. Just tracing a line around the scapula, reminding the scapula that it can let go, it can heal. Nice and strong. And now knuckles either side of the top of the spine, just securing the front of the head and pressing down with the out breaths. This is another form of elimination. You know, there are five ways to move and receive energy into and around the body. Elimination is just one of them. If you want to see the five ways, they're called prana kriyas, and I believe I've made a video of them that I'll share a link of all the ways that you can do this to yourself, move those five energy types around and receive the wonderful state of bliss. Lovely, all the way down to the bra line. And then smoothing again, creating some calm. Just bending the top muscle back. Just like we do in Tweenar in core therapy, we bend those muscles to loosen them rather than forcing them. Okay, now we're going to come on to the shoulders themselves. We're going to come across the top with strong thumbs. So we're going to come across the top with strong thumbs. And then 
then slightly further from the neck, just halfway across the shoulder length. And then over the bra strap line. Always coming forward to start off with strong thumbs. And now two fingers coming back. And the mid midway. And then near the neck. And now heels of hands coming forward. muscles down and away and off. Coming forwards, raising the head, dipping the shoulders strongly down and away. And now some more elimination coming up round the neck and off. Up. Okay, now coming to the side. Securing the arm at the elbow and wrist, making sure I've got the full weight of the arm, and then rotating in one direction. And back. Loosening that shoulder joint. It might be quite sore. So this gives the wrist a little loosening at the same time. Not just into the elbow, the shoulder, but all three joints here are being loosened, allowing for that elimination getting rid, letting go, and then securing the elbows, and let go, securing, and let go. Lovely, that wonderful feeling of gravity, allowing the muscles to let go, relax and loosen. forward just like we did on the shoulders into the hairline holding that thumb forward just under the line of the occiput bone this is greatly stress relieving this is where we hold a lot of our tension and congestion and then halfway down the neck And at the base. And 
and then finger coming from from the front backwards just loosening softening into that hairline up over the other side same again thumb forward really helps to do it into the hair or onto clothing so that there isn't a pull of friction into the skin so that there is a nice softness feeling some tension there under the right lower occiput might be a bit sore there and then heel of the hand as much as possible maybe the side of the heel coming forward and the same with the other side. And then allowing for a little stretch. Shoulder up into the neck, into the cranium. Lovely. While I'm on the neck, just going to feel for that occiput point in the center. Lovely acupressure point. Just securing with my thumb. And then rocking the head back gently. Holding with my thumb. Closing the eyes to tune into the energy of that acupressure point. Feeling the cerebral spinal fluid. Feeling the pulse and the breath. All working in unison. Each helping each other out. And up. And finding two more acupressure points with finger and thumb, each side of the spine, and the beautiful, obvious acupressure places. Tuning into the colors. I often see colours myself when I'm doing this. And then further into the saddle point under the back of the ear. Lovely, really good release. Feels good. Okay, giving the neck a little massage. Releasing the hair. some beautiful oil, some sesame oil. It's been warming 
This will hydrate, nourish the hair, but also the scalp. And it's very warming to the body. So if we have coldness or damp in our bodies, it's really nice to introduce sesame for that warming effect. And sesame will also help with tight muscles, muscle pain. It'll help with stimulating and clearing. So clearing stress, clearing headaches. Really good for the digestive system, again, in that stimulating effect. Okay, so enjoying just a little early contact with the scalp. the hands, securing at the same time in order to allow a little pressure creating lines, backward flowing lines Now using three to four fingers, strongly stimulating into the skin, the scalp, the cranium, the muscle surrounding the cranium, the cerebral spinal fluid surrounding the brain, and of course all of the glands, the lymph that are located in and around this area, especially over the ear, this area here. So many lymph nodes and glands that this will activate and soothe. And the oil is allowing for a nice smooth flow and into the center. Some really good acupressure points across the center here. We're stimulating and all the way down. I'm using the pads of the thumbs, no nails. The pads of the fingers. So if we were to see the skin and the tone now, it should be nice and rosy. And then a little, a little hair pulling. Beautiful hair, lovely and glossy, gorgeous tones. Very good condition. Especially nice up around the neck. And now softly. Softly. The most gentle of touches.
I'm feeling the tranquility arrive. That lovely feeling of serenity. Now introducing little drops of rain. frequent. They get noisier. And now some hair pulling. Now some hair pulling. This has a lovely sound. And smoothing so that one technique flows into another, moving from stimulating to soothing in an unpredictable manner where all you can do is relax. And then acupressure points, just securing the head to one side while pressing with three fingers to the front above the one ear, pressing and pulling up slightly. Tuning into the acupressure point for a few moments. And then just above. And to the back. Same to the other side. And smoothing and then holding the whole side of the scalp and moving the whole left side upwards and the same for the right And for the front. And for the back. 
back. Smoothing to finish on the scalp. beautiful jawline, then across the nose and cheeks, and forehead. And then a little into the jawline. It's really good to release the jaw. We often have our jaws clamped tight. Smoothing over the jaw. And then into the sinuses, just either side of the nose, below the eyes. Relieving those sinuses. And then forehead, beautiful forehead, just contact with four finger pads across these lovely sinus and acupressure points. Stimulating and clearing. This will help prevent and clear headaches. Especially this point here, just at the eyebrow. Just underneath each side. And temples. And then smoothing to finish into the jawline. The cheeks. And 
on the forehead. And tuning into the chakras of the throat. The third eye, the Ajna. And the crown, the Sahasra. Some wonderful energy there, beautiful colors, a real tingling sensation of energy coming down shoulders. Grounding once more. Grounding. And off. Keeping your eyes closed, take a nice long breath. Continue with the deep breathing and sending your breath all around your body. Feeling that lovely breath movement, the expansion and contraction that you will probably feel within your skin around your whole body. Feeling the breath arrive at the feet, slowly stretching and moving through the toes and the soles. Moving slowly through the toes and the soles of the feet, stretching out the big toe, the second toe, middle, fourth and little toes and then maybe turning one ankle creating some movement turning into the ankle and then feeling the breath arrive at the hands stretching through palms and fingers Circling at the wrists, widening the palms, and then circling at the shoulders one way, and the other. And if you feel like it, bringing your arms up for a nice whole body stretch, feeling the stretch all the way down the spine into the hips and opening your eyes when you feel ready to. It's really nice. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, you are bright eyed. Mm. <laughs> your eyes are shining. Ooh, look amazing. Oh, they're really deep. <laughs> yeah. 
And yeah. that was your first one. I'm privileged. Wow, it was lovely. Oh. <laughs> you probably don't want to talk much at the moment. You want to hold on to that lovely feeling. But hopefully you might have seen some colours. A lot of yellows. I thought yellow. And I, yeah, I wasn't expecting yellows. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, lots of yellow. Oh, the, the yellow I saw, it might have been different to yours, was quite a pale, washed out yellow. It was like looking through a yellow neck curtain and the world was this beautiful yellow haze. Oh, nice. Yeah. It was a bit like egg yolks for me, like oh, exploding. It was pretty cool. Yeah. Wow. Um, Where was I when you saw that? On my back. Yeah. Oh, quite yeah. early on. Yeah. Um, and then really bright blues when you were doing my neck. Really bright. Oh, yeah. oh. It was amazing. Yeah, well, blue is the throat chakra. Oh. So that's amazing. You saw blue when I was at the Really that, bright. That's so good. Yeah. So I've pr you probably know all of this already, but the throat chakra is all to do with releasing expression. Oh. Um, and when you do that, you create freedom. Okay. Yeah. So it is respiration as well, being the throat, breathing mm -hmm. and making sure you're not breathing shallowly. But it's also uh, expressing yourself, however that is, whether it's talking, writing, singing, dancing, mm -hmm. whatever clothes you wear, you know, choices in life mm -hmm. where you express yourself. Yeah? Interesting. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So that's really good for you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I think the timing of this was quite good. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, Your really eyes nice. are so bright. It feels really bright, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So we are going to do a core therapy now. Mm -hmm. Before you lie down, can I just ask you, mm -hmm. I don't know if we've done this before, mm -hmm. to pick a card. Okay. So these are all feel-good vibes, and mm -hmm. uh, whatever you pick, I'm going to upturn it and put on my windowsill with my other clients and my card okay. for this week. And it's different every week. So every time you come, you may well pick a different card. Okay. Gentle. Gentle. <laughs> Is that how you're feeling now? Yeah. <laughs> well, wow. I tread lightly upon this earth, seeing, understanding, never imposing. I got something probably I need to take away with me. <laughs> is your card for this week okay and maybe at some point you'll think oh i need to make a decision or i need inspiration or i need reassurance mm -hmm. and you'll think i am gentle and that will help me in my decision making yeah okay okay, okay. you can always good. take a photo of it and take it away with yeah, you try and remember do. it for the week yeah i'll put it on my window sill okay thank you Oh. 